Hi everyone, Annie Blue here again today. I want to go through uh, a live session, what you can expect, what it looks like. So in one example, <clears throat> we have a section here on the dashboard when there's an open call, those will show up here and you'll be able to see the details. Uh, you'll be able to see the document, the time, that they need uh, scheduled here. Uh, if it's agreeable for you, you can go ahead and pick up the session and it will immediately take you to uh, the live session for the signing. Um, alternatively, the other way you can do this is invite a signer. And I've already gone through a tutorial on invite a signer, so I won't go into that now. But once you invite the signer, they'll get an email. And once they're ready to sign, it will also show up here on the dashboard. Uh, it will say go to session whenever they're ready to go. So if I click pick up the session, then it will take me to the waiting room. And once everyone is in the room, it will start up. And it will look something like this. Obviously, this is a static image here for the demo. And let me move this up here. Okay, so you can see here my video is live also. The, the signer's uh, live video will be here. Uh, so the first thing we do whenever we get into the live session here is we wanna make sure that we're in the session with the right signer. So what we can do here, click check signer ID. And here we'll provide you the uh, ID of the signer that they submitted previously before the session. And also we'll have some markers here to say pass, uh, processing outcome result here. And so this will be pass or fail and uh, a couple of other um, results we received back from the ident identification analysis. So once that's all confirmed, you can close this up. And as you can see here, also we have a, an option to add a witness. So for instance, if, you know, uh, during the session, it, it, uh, you realize that there needs to be a witness on, uh, on this notarization. You can do that here. Go to add witness. Now we have a, a few different options here. If you've already uh, done this before, uh, you'll have a section here called my witnesses, which we'll save. Uh, if not, first time you want to add a witness, um, that's maybe a personal acquaintance of the signer or, or someone else, whoever it may be. You can enter them here, email, phone number, first and last name, and click add witness to the session. It will send them an email and they can join the session right away. Third option, which is probably the most common option is just to choose a blue notary witness, which will, um, we'll do an open call on the system and uh, a blue notary uh, notary can pick up the session as a witness and you can do that here. Next thing here, we have the notarization type. And you can choose here, if there's multiples, you can choose multiples. If it's just one, choose one here, okay. Uh, now let's go to the toolbox section here on the right side. This will be all, all the tools you need to mark up the document. So this will be, uh, this is me, Ron Fake. So this will be the notary's name you can put that wherever needed. Let's scroll down here. So you could just drop and drag these around as needed. Date, signature, and this will be the notary's signature. And you'll have a few different options here you can choose from previous um, signatures here. You can draw a new one or you can upload one here. And once you do that, it, it, it will be in this choose section. Okay, let's choose this one. We have check marks. Text. 
So this would just be any kind of text you need to input here. You can do that. Notary seal. Okay, you can drop that in. Now you'll notice when I drop the notary seal, the cost of notarization shows up here on the left side. Service fee $2, notarization $25. And if I drop a second seal, it will automatically show extra notary seal $8. Okay, notary certificate. So if we want to drop our certificate there, obviously this is demo. We have some goofy pictures in here, but what you'll do is you'll go to account settings and there's a tab for certificates and you'll just upload your notary certificates before the session. And when you do, you can choose and drop and drag here. Now I want to bring up add a page uh, button also. So in the case that the document doesn't have any room to put your certificate, for instance, you can add a page, blank page and it will automatically just add a, uh, another page at the bottom. You can drop your certificates or seal whatever is needed there. Okay. Uh, we also have signer's name, obviously. You need to put that in. And we have a signer's signature here. So when you drop this, they'll be prompted on their end to input the signature. And signers free text, same thing. Place this on the document and they'll be able to input whatever text is needed to be input there. Next, we have a whiteout block. In case you need to mark something out. And that's the tools, guys. Uh, once you've placed everything here, sign up uh, all the things needed signed, drop the, the seal you'll be able to complete the session. And once you're ready, you just hit complete session. Okay. There'll be some processing here. And then you'll be redirected back to the journal. For the demo, it goes to the dashboard, but you'll be going to the journal here. You'll be able to see the completed session and all the details here. You'll have the final document. You'll be able to see the original document on all the details here. Video recording will have, there'll be a link here. You'll be able to see everything here. Uh, and that's it guys. That wraps up this video. Uh, as always, if you have any other questions, come to the Facebook group. The support group there is, is going to be really helpful uh, for answering any questions you may have. And I'll see you on the next video.